We're going to start this section uh, with Saturday's Daily Mail. The GB News is uh, back in the news. And this, I think, is a ridiculous headline. This has actually annoyed me a little bit. Lewis, what is the headline on this one? It says chaos at GB News grows. Now, Calvin Robinson becomes the third presenter to be suspended after refusing to go on air. You know, it's that phrase, chaos, and... chaos at GB News. It's, it's this yeah. idea that all of these people are saying that ah! we have complete turmoil in the, in the, in the office. Yeah. We're just getting on with our lives. And we're just trying to carry on as sensible broadcasters. Yeah. And I think everyone is just using this opportunity to attack us and suggest that everything is falling apart. We've been at the office now for the last four hours. Everything's calm. Everything's fine. Yeah. What are they talking about? I think what they're trying to do is they're just trying to shut down the channel. Just for the hell of it. Yeah, the hell of it. I mean, the problem with the channel is, if I could say, I don't mean the problem, well, it's fantastic, but it's, it, this is supposedly coined as a free speech channel, when the truth is, it's not, a, it's not a necessarily about free speech. It's about any kind of speech. Well, I think we are a free speech channel, and I think what's great about it is that we, we, we have all ki genuinely have all kinds of opinions yeah. which you don't get on other channels. Nicholas, I have to point this out. And this sounds a bit like tribalism or whatever. But when the BBC did their Newsnight programme about GB News the yeah. other night, there was no dissenting voice on that panel. They were all against GB News. And not only that, two people on that panel said that GB News should be closed down. Right. And one right. of them was a Tory MP. At the height of hypocrisy, you know, people, I mean, BBC is no stranger to scandals. Uh, really? I haven't heard any. <laughs> what are you talking about, Nicholas? Uh, ITV Channel 4. These are our competitors. You know, and for you know, just just go for G, uh, Jimmy Savile. They they covered him and they covered up for him and people who tolerated him even years after his death. Yeah. You know, and now these people are lecturing us about values and about uh, you know decency. And I would say I I just want to repeat what uh, Calvin Robinson has said that G GB News is more than just an outlet. It's a mission because people believe in something. And for the first time, we have yeah. an outlet, which is um, speaking something that is other than it's the it's mainstream funny. narrative. It's funny, though, yeah. I think the BBC, if they were being sensible on that panel, they would have <laughs> brought in someone else just to even give yeah. the impression right. of impartiality. Anyway, we do have to move on to...